Welcome to Now! I'm your host, Curtis Parody, and today's episode is all about gaming! Yeah! Okay, that's right, today's episode of Now is all about what's happening at E3. If you didn't know about E3, it's a huge gaming convention where many of the big players in the gaming world release their new games or consoles or other technology. It's just awesome! Basically, it's a show full of gaming, well, awesome! So let's talk about things that I personally found interesting. First up, let's talk about the Xbox 360. Having recently purchased an Xbox, yep, that's right, I joined the console gaming world, I decided that maybe I should pay attention to the things Microsoft was talking about with the 360, and I was not disappointed. The first thing I want to note is the integration of Nike Plus with the Kinect. So if you're one of the people like myself who owns the Xbox 360, and the Kinect, and the handy dandy Nike Fuel Band, then you can connect the two of them together and create this super fun workout experience. For me, this is probably the only way I'm ever gonna exercise because, you know, it's gotta be fun and it's gotta involve some sort of cool gadgets at the same time. I'm a geek after all, so getting me to exercise, just throw some gadgets in there. Kinda why I got this thing. Next was the big announcement of Smart Glass. Smart glass. No, I'm kidding. It has nothing to do with glasses. This is basically like AirPlay for Windows 8 devices and other mobile devices. But with a small hint of the Wii U in there just to make Nintendo a little uneasy. This means when you're playing a game on your Xbox, you can pick up your tablet or your smartphone and see additional information about the game, such as, you know, different plays or different weapons, making it easier for you and possibly faster to navigate the different menus, choose different weapons, select different fighting styles. It's all just, you know, on your tablet, I guess, while you're playing your Xbox, so I think it's pretty sweet. So basically, if you're lucky enough to own a tablet and the Xbox, then look forward to this brand new way of playing games. Next is, well, the Xbox is finally getting a browser! Yep, after all this time, the people at Microsoft have finally realized that, hey! We should put Internet Explorer on this thing. So they did. And last thing that I found interesting from the Xbox keynote was the announcement of South Park, the Stick of Truth video game. I'm a big fan of South Park, so I think this will be something fun and entertaining for me to pick up in the future. Moving on now to the Nintendo announcements. The finalized version of the Wii U was shown off, which looks cool, but for me, it's just, that's such a big controller. I also feel that Nintendo lost, you know, a little bit of its thunder when Xbox announced that they were basically doing the Wii U with their, you know, smart glass technology. Here's a note to you in the future, Nintendo. Don't show off, you know, your new gaming system till right before you're going to release it. This will prevent other companies from, you know, copying it. And we move on to the last topic that I want to talk about, SimCity. This is a big one. Okay, so let's unfortunately, well, well, we gotta stop here. Everyone, like, calm down. I know you're all happy, but we gotta start off with some bad news. I had seen this rumored online for some time, but EA is actually going to do it. They're going to release SimCity for Facebook. Now, as you can tell, <laughs> I'm not very impressed. I'm not a player of Facebook games, so I simply see this, you know, as a waste of time and resources. Just build a better game, don't... No Facebook! But hey, The Sims on Facebook has been doing, you know, really good. It's actually one of the most popular games, so... You know, why not bring SimCity to the social network as well? So that happened, but the big news that I want to talk about centered around EA talking about the SimCity game for PC! So far I'm super excited for it, it looks amazing, and the overall idea of the game seems like... Whoa! So cool! If you're someone like myself with a high-powered gaming computer, then this game will probably look and function perfectly. But I do have a fear for those people with lesser systems. You're gonna wanna make sure you check those minimum system requirements. But otherwise, the game looks very in-depth, and I love how everything seems to, you know, tie nicely together, from the pollution and the resources like coal, and the commerce and product systems. It all just seems to flow and work, and it's more of, like, an actual city that, like, it's so cool, it actually, like, all works together. You know, kind of like a simulation, which is why it's a sim city. Simulation city. Now until I get my hands on the game itself, I can only speculate, but I'm excited for it and I'm sure going to pick it up when it is released. So with all this news from E3, what did you find to be the most interesting thing that either I talked about or you've seen elsewhere about E3? Tell me in the comment section below. And remember you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. 
There are links to all of that and more in the description below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button above. I release three episodes of Now a week, so be sure to click the subscribe button to stay up to date on everything that's happening now, especially including gaming news like E3 because I love games so much. Also, don't forget to rate, thumb this video up, and post in the comment section below about what I asked you about before with the question and the thing. Yeah! I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.